What's up YouTube? So this video is going to be the completion of the BMW. Uh, I've kind of put off this footage. It's a lot of footage. I've had to time lapse mm, the majority of it. Um, because there was just, there's a lot of small stuff to get back into the car and back together. So uh, it just seemed reasonable with how much footage I actually had left to speed it all up and, and kind of just leave the footnotes of what I'm doing. So that's what this video is going to consist of. And uh, let's just jump right into it. So now I'm ready to go on to pretty much everything else and just button up this whole thing. I'm going to start putting the starter back in. I'm going to put the exhaust manifolds on, get the O2 sensors back in, probably get the valve cover on just to prevent anything from falling in there. You see I, like there's still those pine needles up there. I should actually vacuum that, that stuff up before I start, but uh, actually I probably will. And then uh, once the valve cover's on in place, I won't have to worry about getting anything getting in there. Probably put in the spark plugs as well. tried to install this what what's happening to me is the gasket keeps on rolling off out of the cover as soon as it pretty much comes up to here I mean that's how much room you literally have to try and scoop this cover in uh, it's really tight and I just didn't see how it was gonna happen the other problem is this gasket and whether it's a BMW thing but more than likely an eBay thing the gaskets actually just a little bit too short and you can see it's actually trying to still curl out right at this corner it it, it really doesn't want to sit in there um, so I went, a, went all around and put a RTV in a bunch of spots to hold the gasket in place it's not something I like to do but I, I do not see how I'm gonna get it the valve cover reinstalled with the gasket not falling out and being tightened down with some of it not in place I, I just I need something to hold it there it's not gonna happen so now that I've got this set up like this uh, I let this sit for a long time you can see this stuff is set very well uh, you don't want to put very much because we still want to pretty much compress this seal uh, without the RTV interfering so I'm gonna try and Try and get this in there.
so I've got the manifolds in and they're all torqued up uh, I did install the 202 sensors black harness to the front gray harness to the rear and just kind of laid them up on top of the valve cover uh, I also put on this little bracket here at the back and really I, I think most of the wiring is ready to kind of flop over on top of the valve cover so I'm gonna kind of leave that for now I'm gonna go on to the intake and do it uh, I've got some new seals to put in the intake and I guess the, maybe the throttle body has a gasket but I'll check that I'm gonna pull these out replace them and uh, get ready to sit, sit the intake back into the car
So after all of that, I'm pretty sure I got this thing all back together. Uh, the one issue that I had was getting this oil filter cap off. I don't have the tool, obviously, and those pliers usually get these guys off, but I wasn't unable to, so I'm going to actually have to change the filter after, believe it or not, which sucks, but, um, it, you know, I got the oil drained, it's got all fresh oil. We're ready to turn the key or hit the push start button, I mean, and uh, I just got my fingers crossed on this one. So I'm not quite sure how it's going to sound in the recording, but the car sounds a little bit like a diesel. Uh, it's got a loud snap to it. Uh, I've got to talk to him about it and see what he wants to do. The noise sounds to be up top, but when I put my ear down below, I think we got a problem. And number four is probably run without power for so long it's caused an issue. And now that it's running under power, it's actually making noise. It's my first guess because uh, yeah, it makes twice the amount of noise underneath the car than it does up top. But uh, it certainly runs well. Um, all the codes cleared out. It's not recoding anything. Um, it idles really smooth. But yeah, I'm just really glad that it's finished. Uh, for now anyway, he may want me to look at it again. I may end up working on the car again. Um, but for now, that's what it's going to stand at because uh, I've got other stuff to get done and I need to get going on it. So um, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me. Leave your questions and comments further down below. And I'll see you in the next one.